And now, here's your host, Jim Mintz. Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our program. We're glad that you're out there tonight. And uh, we got an artistic program for you, and I want to welcome, been a long time, Mark Philip yes, Wiganik, who is the director of the Eye of the Lizard Gallery on A1A in Bureau yes, Beach. Thank you. And you have Rita Carbon with you. Right. And, uh, Mark, I'm going to let you uh, kind of tell us who Rita is and bring us into our topic, if you would not um, mind to do so. Rita is a uh, ex-Russian physicist who now lives in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, up in Cocoa Beach, Cocoa Beach, Merritt yeah. Island, yeah. Merritt yeah. Island. And Rita is vice president of um, Farrington. No, no. oh, sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Correct oh. me. She's president of Farrington Holding Company. And we, I of the Lizard, worked with Farrington to bring um, 14 Russian artists over in February for our Russian show. Oh, my. And consequently, um, because Natalia Besheneva's work was so popular, Rita um, worked with Eye of the Lizard to bring Natalia, who is uh, our guest artist um, this past month okay. at the gallery. Now, we're going to talk about the gallery a little bit, but I think right. basically we, we probably ought to set up what is actually ah, going on here in the studio. Happening? And that is that uh, Natalia is a portrait painter. Is that is that her particular no, area? No, actually she no? does just about everything. Oh, okay. Uh, scenes, still lifes, uh, figuratives, portraits, the works. She's Boy. also a very good psychologist. Psychologist as well. Oh well, uh -oh. <laughs> so careful. We both use that mark? <laughs> okay, but uh, but what she's doing now is a portrait. Right. I think she understands English a little bit. <laughs> she okay. far better than we realize. And uh, and uh, we have Stacy Miller with us, who mm -hmm. is uh, being the model. And uh, and I guess Stacy is actually modeling. Someone is she, giving their, her this as a gift. Uh, no, or, she's having this uh, commissioned for her fiance you know. for a wedding present. Oh wow. Okay, so uh, during the program, we're going to see, and uh, should we talk about the speed of this? How long does it normally uh, take to do a portrait, uh, Rita? Rita? About What's three that? to four hours. It depends mm -hmm. on the model. Uh, but if, if she has a big portrait to do, it takes two or three sittings. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. usually in two hours, she completes the main features of her character. In, and she works then to finish it, to make some details. The, um, the two that she d did um, yeah. last week, we, we can take a here, look at these. Um, each of those was a three hour sitting. A three hour mm -hmm. sitting. Now, is that unusual, Mark? Or uh... I would say so. Most of the portrait um, artists that I've come across, at least uh, this quality of portrait artists, right. uh, take a lot longer. Um, because we're not looking at a sketch, and I've seen no. sketch artists and mm -hmm. caricatures, and right. those are fairly quick. But this is a portrait, a and if we we'll take a look, work. this is, uh, as a matter of fact, the shirt that you were wearing was the one that, uh, I don't right. know which camera this is going to be picked up on. Uh, yes, that's probably you. But this is Mark's that was done in three hours, three hours uh, last, last week. week. Right. And there it is. Look at that. Now, Mark, we were commenting a little bit as we went on the air. And uh, that definitely is you, but it also reflects a little bit of the inner you, doesn't right, it? Right, right. Well, she's caught my cynical smile and the uh, piercing, um, intelligent eyes. Well, yeah. But <laughs> I'm picking up. Well, let me tell you. Among what, other things. Okay, but let me tell you no. what, what I pick up on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up a, a uh, that openness, I right. guess. Yeah. The artist's openness. Sure. That's one of some. You're confident about yourself, but yet you're you're very open, and that, that's yeah. what I see in the, in right. the painting. He's also and, handsome there. Oh, well, thank yes, you. he is. Well, he's handsome here. <laughs> sure. Uh, she uh, thinned my face a little bit and gave me a little bit higher cheekbones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who needs a that. plastic surgeon? I got a they portrait now. That. But again. Uh, <laughs> Part of this is the essence of yourself. Right, right, and that's that's one thing. Um, Natalia is very good at her, her again, her psychology, um, being able to to talk and communicate with the client or with the um, the person who's having their portrait done, and, sure. and bring out a lot. She brings out a, a lot. She asks you questions. She's talking with you and about you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and this is a terrible right. interview for me, Mark, because I'm constantly watching I her know, it's work. Fascinating. It is absolutely incredible as this now is really beginning to take shape, right. and I'm beginning to see Stacy evolve in this. Mm -hmm. Now, this other portrait that we have down here. Um, let me see. Maybe if I pick it up and bring it over here. Ah, there we go. Is that all right if I don't lean it up against there, That'd Mark? That'd be fine. That'd okay. be great. Um, this is Gina Schulman, Dr. Harold Schulman's daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, Gina, oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's as Gina. 
Gina and Rosemary Shulman uh, commissioned this for Harold for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And we had it in the gallery. And, and a surprise and, gift. Surprise gift. <laughs> they brought him by the gallery yesterday, and yeah. surprise. Now, I don't want to knock photography, hmm. so, so okay. please uh, hope no one misunderstands me. But there is something about this that, that goes beyond. Right. Uh, That's right. And, uh, I, uh, again, we were commenting a little bit before we went on the air, but this is something that would be handed down from one generation to the oh, next. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heirlooms, uh, family, uh, uh, family heirlooms that, that, that continue, that, that pass down. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hold this card up, but uh, it's interesting because uh, what it says on the back of this card is portrait therapy. Therapy. Explain a like little bit that. about that, Rita. Rita, what, what does that mean? Natasha is a very special painter. She studied a lot of psychology in Russia. And she's also graduated from one of the best Russian school of portrait realism. Mm -hmm. so, so she decided to join together to synthesize portrait therapy, creating some kind of psychological and uh, artistic effect on people. Mm -hmm. When she draws people, when she paints them, she really feels like she's falling in love with her model. Uh, that's right. And under this state, being in this state, she creates something that uh, the model usually uh, doesn't show in real life. Something hidden, beyond, okay. inside. And again, we kind of commented on this with Mark because I know Mark. I could see an element of him coming through that, where the other portrait I would need to look at. Now, if we can, uh, again, before we go out of this particular segment, see what... Uh, what she is doing now, what Natalia is doing, but there's an, also another portrait over there, mm -hmm. and uh, this one looks like someone who is, uh, I would say, a little bit of aristocracy or something in this particular portrait here. Is that yes. true? Or? It's a celebrity somehow. Okay. He's from Moscow. His name is Andrei Minshagin. Mm -hmm. He's an actor. He's also an mm -hmm. artist. And Very expressive he's here. Also, um, very important people in philosophy because he's a very important person that follows some kind of particular wave of modern Russian philosophy. Mm. And they meet each other in Moscow and Natasha painted his portrait. And in this portrait she combined two different techniques. One of them is abstract that you can see on, on, on the background mm -hmm. and another one is realistic. His face is very re realistic. Oh, very real. And combined together, it produces a very interesting effect. It's something you don't see a lot in, in portraiture. Uh, I've never seen it done before. Uh, combining the the, the, port, the realistic mm -hmm. with a real abstract uh, uh, feeling. There's, an, there's a lot of emotion. Uh, right, a lot they of tend to either be one way or right, the other. But, right. uh, but it's unusual. And again, uh, hearing Rita describe this individual, as we begin to see some of the the movement that's going on with the abstract of this, right. I can see things crossing over. And you think about philosophy where, you know, here's this thought and there's that thought, and they all uh, exactly. come together to make a whole. Exactly. And and it's interesting. Uh, the the face is beginning to take shape uh, right. a little bit here. And uh, it was interesting. There was detail, and then uh, the the tones uh, went over that. But uh, as we can see on the camera right. now. She, uh, she works a lot in layers, of course. It's oil, so you work, sure. you know, a lot of layers. And um, what's fascinating is that uh, I didn't see mine. I mean, I was sitting there, obviously, mm -hmm. so I couldn't see the stages. Uh, but every time I'd have a break and I'd get up, you know, I'd walk around, and it was like, oh, ah. my gosh, isn't that fascinating? Something it's like, different. wow. Is that good or bad, Mark, I think, to, to watch it as it's a work in progress? Um, it could be either. It depends on the person, I think. Uh, as, an you, as an artist myself, okay. uh, I'm fascinated by it because I mm. know that the, the steps, the techniques, but for someone, a layman, um, they might go, oh, my God, that doesn't look like me, or, you know, or why is that face that color? I mean, she's using a, a palette that has a lot of, of uh, yellows and browns and everything mm -hmm. in it, uh, blues, and there's a lot of color in the, human, in the human form, the human figure. Right. So um, there's a lot of building up that she has to do. Well, uh, and, and I think some of uh, Stacy's nature with the, with the darker hair and, mm -hmm. the, and the, the good skin coloring and everything there. So we're seeing that. Mark, uh, we're going to have you back at the end of the program, okay. so we'll see what this progress is like. But I would like to talk about Eye of the Lizard Gallery here for just All a right. moment. Uh, again, uh, uh, let's, let's be specific with the model and the artist that we have here now, or the artist. She okay. is going to be there for another couple of weeks? Another two weeks okay. until the 28th. Uh, Friday the 28th. Mm -hmm. She will be available for portraits. Um, her show is up until this Friday and then it comes down and a new show comes up mm -hmm. and then at that point um, she will still be available a week after that. So if anybody's interested in having their portrait done 
this week as well as next week. Um, she will be at the Eye, mm -hmm. um, able to paint there or at your home or you know okay. studio or office or wherever. Does she only work with a live model? If someone wanted to surprise their spouse, has she ever worked from a, a picture? Uh, not really, but she starts not. from a real model, mm -hmm. and then she can finish without a real model using a yeah. picture. Okay. Because of her, you know, but you really get to know, you need to, to know connected. the person, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, okay. The connection is important. All right, yeah, and, and again, we're not looking at a picture, we're looking at a portrait, and, right. and within that portrait, many other elements right. to it. Uh, where are you located, Mark? Um, what are your hours? 4877 North A1A. Which is? Uh, in Pelican Plaza. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're open. Summer hours are um, 11 to 5, Tuesday through Friday. Mm -hmm. And on Saturday, roughly 12 to 4. Okay. Roughly. And are there other uh, paintings that Natalia's done at um, the We have a, gallery? quite a selection of her works, uh, figurative, some still life. Um, I think there's a view, there's a, a landscape as well, or several landscapes of Moscow. Mm -hmm. Really fascinating. She's work. introducing some reds in there a little oh, yeah. bit now. Oh yeah, you can see a little. Oh yeah. This this that. this is going to be a distracting program for me today. <laughs> anyway, Mark, will you will you both come back at the end of the show? Certainly. We'll see what the progress is, okay. and we'll talk some more about Great. this. It's fascinating. Thank you, Rita. Thank you for talking with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to pause. We're going to have more show. Uh, it's the Ask a Nurse uh, program next. So please stay with us. Don't go away. And what does one ask a nurse? What comes to your mind?